Ya, yeah, Orca! And then that I this island right here has a glowing sun. And then because of the order we got the shit and we're Oh Wait, I don't even know what this is. And because of the order we got the shit and we're gonna have to backtrack to get one of the other power slash rocks if we grabbed the cherry bomb before power slash. Damn it. You know, the funny thing is those gold enemies that are like a version of the black imps. Oh, seriously? I don't remember those enemies at all. I don't remember those enemies even being in the game to begin with. I know what this island is. I was also looking for this one. This is your friendly neighborhood bandit spider. Uh, what? These are like, these are just flat out padding. A little bit. The only kind of good thing about this is I'm pretty sure the game never, like. Oh, damn it. The only kind of good thing about these is I'm, like, fairly certain they don't gain any health, meaning that, like, oh, as, as you get more power... Oh, come like, on! You can start trivializing them. I hate... Damn it. I hate... The, like, this... If I could get behind him... Or rotate the camera... Oh, come on! Uh, I fucking hate these. Because you need to be behind them, and then that creates a problem of, like, when you get behind it, you then need to be really freaking quick. Oh, come on! Ah! Not even hard, because it's inherently my... Fucking fall! It's hard because it's like the like the camera is just not. It's just not working with me. Oh, what the hell! Oh, come on! I hate, and this is an example of why I sometimes hate this mini boss because it's just, it's broken. But the bandit spider is a little bit like that nonsense of it being able to just void your attacks. And it like always flips. And like it's always voiding you and it's always flipping. If I could. You need to be like really quick and try to get behind it and like try and spin the camera and it's like. Sweet baby, you could finish it with a power slash. I think. It's like, oh, wait, one more. There it goes. Yeah. I said that's the one good thing about these is when you can actually beat them because you. Uh, I believe it's not that hard. It's just... I believe they do all have the same health. So then when that works. Oh, and I still get a perfect. It's almost like they realize it's terrible. I did awful, I still win! If you really want to maximize your damage at that point, um. Oh, so it's a little finicky because of the amount of ink it uses, but you could slow them down to try and give you more time. To use slow. an infinity stone if you really need it. And if you're gonna use an infinity stone, you might as well slow them down with the mist then. Where did we park? Other side. 
Okay. No, seriously. I I guess I think we ended up parking it around the back. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> okay. That's what we were doing. But as you can see, and it was a really good oh. <laughs> one lantern was left, that's great. What? The one lantern was left. I trivialized it, I didn't get hit. And even in my awful time, if you're really fast with him, then you just absolutely nuke a bitch. Absolutely no good bit. I'm pretty sure this is the island with the stray bead on it. Hey look, it's stray bead. This is also the island with the other thing I was looking for, but... Hey ladies, wanna see my holy bone? That was so. Boring, you're only gonna have to look up what fair. That fair was fair. so smooth. I did it. You, oh my god. You did it, John. You're one with the god moves. Boot like Michael Jackson. Uh. I think that might be everything. No, it isn't. Okay, not. Not counting again, but because of the order we got things in, we're gonna have to circle back to one of those rocks. I knew there was good stuff out here! And, more importantly, this! I can go back for that rock later. Oh, perfect. The Marlin! <laughs> hey! Do you know what you're carrying there? Any fisherman would kill for that! That's the Marlin Rod! The strongest in the world! Yeah. With Any a rod fisherman. that tough, there's no fish you couldn't reel in! Even the great king of the sea, the Marlin! Be nice! You know that rod belongs to me! Any you were robbed! Of Marlin Rod. Any fisherman would also kill to get you to put on some pants. <laughs> You were robbed up. Yes. I, I couldn't say yes. no. Like, seriously, why is he wearing that? Oh, I forgot to mention something that's a really good, dumb thing. Right. And it's one reason to keep the, um, well, hold on, fishing. And then I had a very important point because it's something not a lot of people notice. It's, uh, I, uh, it's a good reason to keep. Also, as you can see, like we pulled up something with one slash. I think some of the like some of the medium-sized shadows here, I believe, would take two slashes if you didn't get the power slash before this. So you know that's that's good game design right there. Like, hey, I found Nemo. Like the clownfish, I believe this would easily take one. But the thing we pulled up before this might. It's have a to dumb. Uh, I'll make. Yeah, there it is. I'll make my dumb point in a minute.
Oh, that's um. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh my god, I forgot how. You gotta work for it, son. Ah, oh, damn it. Do you have to. Uh, you have to go. Ah, uh, yep. He's gonna take like two. This is this is where you start tapping and trying to get in the. Yeah. Oh my god! Cause it, it changes so fucking. I believe it changes based on. Oh no! It's still three down. It might be set to being three because it's like this isn't story. This is a side quest one. I hate fishing sometimes. Cause when they change in in watching the damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Cause it changes so fucking fast. Forgot how fucking difficult fishing can out. There damn. we are. Caught a, a blue a Marlin in Animal Crossing, caught a blue Marlin in Okami. Japan must really like these things. I know they were big in Animal Crossing, but Christ. I'll get used to fishing again. I just... uh, something... Something else I noticed, and I never noticed this before, and I think this is supposed to be a small indicator for the things... The fish, it seems like they change, A, sort of based on how much you pull, and B, sometimes that little anime sweat drop thing would appear around them. I think when that happens, they might change shortly after that. Let's go get the other side ability. And the, to finally finish that point, because I just remember this is a mechanic, and it's one good reason to keep the fire tablet. Which is... I generally can't take fire damage. Mm. I don't believe I can take burn damage anymore. Mm. I think fire hitting me will do damage, but I don't believe I can catch on fire. Mm. Ah, 398. Anyway, I'll let you back on the mainland. Go to what that moral inside quest was about. That's what I'm doing. That's why I looped around. We can go back for the praise later. There's a cat themed sea restaurant out here. Because even that building is. Oh, cool. This is probably a 48 or something. Oh, damn it. Here comes the sun. Oh, no, 40. Nice. It's a cat themed fish place. And because the one guy brought the moral in him. Ah, good. It just caught it. It's three lines. As shown by the painting on the wall, because that, that's what the game tries to do to teach you those is they have a picture somewhere that shows you the shade you're supposed to draw. Also, I do believe all those actually count as food. Yes. Meaning they count as money for us. This is one of the best abilities in the game. One of the best worst abilities in the game. 
You remember Arrow from Kingdom Hearts? This is that, but good. But also that, but awful. This ability is as amazing as it is useless. Yes. What? Yes. That's why I prefer the other ability. And that sort of works like this one. 20 prize. And now all the... Full. That was worth it. Holy shit, we have maxed out ink this early in the game. I know what I'm doing! I thought there were cats. There are the cats. There are indeed cats. <laughs> Might be calling this in a minute. Make it a shorter recording. Or at least do this. I do want to try something. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to go a bit longer. What? You have to make them a bit longer. Oh, come on! Oh, what the? Why isn't that fucking working? Cause I was gonna try something! Did you have to... Draw them over on it? Hold oh, I don't think... <sighs> Which is funny, cause I immediately guide it, and yet... There it goes. I'm gonna get my ink back. Cause I wanted to try something, but then... I think what was fucking it up, if you notice, the brush had, um... It, it's that effect... It was that glowing effect on the brush, I'm pretty sure. The game is registering it as something else for some reason. Damn it. I lost my godhood. We need to figure that out because that's. I want to just. I know you can use it in battle. Why is it not working? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Let me use this as a top off before we. <laughs> I know you can use it in battle, and I was trying to show the battle applications. What the hell? Oh, there it goes. It has that unique... It pushes enemies and deals damage. Because it pushes enemies and deals damage, it can be really good and bad, because you can push them around like fucking ragdolls. Okay. And I believe, because of the it taking three, it's one of those if you, I think... You actually can do the three, six, or nine, was it? Doesn't seem that way. Yeah. Nope. Seems to only be the three. What? Seems to only be the three. It seems to be like. Boop, boop, boop. Come on. Look at him go! And that's the good and bad thing with it. Like, 
as you can see, because you're pushing the enemies around, you can't really damage them, but you're also pushing them around, meaning they basically can't really do anything. And certain more wind vulnerable enemies do. Mm -hmm. So I. It was bad on time because of the rag dolling, but that doesn't. Matter. Then what I might do before we end is go get. The next. Actually! Hold on. I'm going to just go back to an earlier dojo and just see if I have new skills. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, what is your opinion on Whirlwind? In my opinion, that power is both incredibly useful, but it is also incredibly useless. It gives you that defensive ability where you can knock enemies away from you and it becomes incredibly hard for enemies to damage you and you also have the added bonus of being able to knock flying enemies out of the air but the biggest problem with the power is the constant pushback can be annoying because you constantly knock away enemies and can't really follow up with damage. I wish Whirlwind worked like the arrow spells in the Kingdom Hearts games where you basically use it and get a defense buff for a while. That would have been a cool brush technique instead of Having an offensive technique, you actually use it for defensive purposes. As long as you have the Whirlwind active, you would take less damage. I think that would have been a nice trade-off. Essentially giving you way more defense for a moment. That would have actually made this incredibly useful. As it stands, I don't think it's the most useful power because of how it functions however in a pinch it can help push enemies away from you and that could be useful if you needed to stop enemies from attacking you for a minute and decided to use the pushback as a stalling tactic to do some chip damage and push things away while also knocking a lot of enemies out of the air. Then once the power ran out, you would have a decent follow-up opportunity. This would also be okay with ranged attacks. So the... Um, Rosaries would actually pair pretty good with this specific brush power. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or, you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord links, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.